Hey there guys and gals, my name is Luke. Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. In my hand, I have the Phoenix TK25 R&B flashlight. R&B stands for red and blue. Go ahead and get comfortable. Let's take a look at it now. Now, as you all know, for me to review a flashlight, it has to be something special. It has to be unique. And this flashlight definitely is. As mentioned, TK25 RNB, red and blue. Just go ahead and turn that on, as you can see there. Now watch what I'm about to do here. I'm going to twist the head. Twist, ah, red, lower red, blue, back to red. Let's go back to white. Ah, as you can see there, very, very interesting, very unique. Let's just go ahead, let's do an unboxing real quick. I don't wanna waste your time. So to start off, you get the box, right? Lots of information, open this up. Of course, you get the flashlight. You get the titanium pocket clip. You have some information concerning the light, multiple languages. You have a warranty card, a little advertisement flyer. You have a lanyard and some additional O-rings. And you have the holster. All right, so here is the flashlight itself. Made from aluminum, very good quality. Take off the battery cap. It runs on one 18650 battery or two CR123A batteries. On the highest setting, this offers 1,000 lumens of throwing power. And it can throw that beam 225 meters. It is impact resistant to one meter. It is waterproof, rated IP68 to two meters. To switch the modes, it is very, very unusual. You just simply rotate the head just like so. Let me show you all a close-up of that. So you rotate the head. So you're flipping over from LED to LED. So let me do that again. So let's do that again. Switch. Now when it comes to the weight of this flashlight, you are looking at 7.1 ounces with an 18650 battery. The white LED is a Cree XPG2 S3 and the red and blue LEDs are XP E2s. This can be mounted onto a firearm and there is an optional pressure switch for this flashlight. This is made for hunting specifically. You have the red and the blue beams which can help you track animals, track blood and so on. And then of course you have the white light which is very powerful. Speaking of powerful, let's check out some nighttime performance. So let's start here at the lowest mode. This is 15 lumens and the runtime is 110 hours with an 18650 3500 battery. Next up, we have medium 100 lumens and that will run for 22 hours. Going up even higher, high mode, 300 lumens. And this will run for five hours and roughly 20 minutes. Going up to the highest setting, this is 1,000 lumens, and this will run for two hours on a fully charged battery. Okay, let's rotate the head here, and let's go to red high. That is the automatic default setting anytime that you switch the light over. There is no memory mode. This is 150 lumens, and this is good for seven hours and 30 minutes of runtime. Then you have red low, 25 lumens, good for 40 hours. Then you have blue. There's only one blue setting. This is 60 lumens, and this is good for six hours, 40 minutes. As you saw there with the nighttime performance tests, very good quality light, right? It does a good job of throwing as well as flooding. And then of course you have the red and the blue. Now, since this is a red and blue flashlight, that means that it's not going to be needed by everyone. If you're the type of individual who needs those features, the red and the blue light, then this is a really good option to consider. Now, if you're not a hunter and you don't need the red, you don't need the blue light, there are other flashlights on the market. Phoenix makes a ton of really good lights. This is a little bit pricey. This is $120 retail. At the time of filming, the cheapest that I saw online was around 80 bucks. Now, with that being said, you do have to be careful on where you purchase this light from. I say that because there are numerous sellers on Amazon and on other websites who are selling fake Phoenix flashlights. There is a warning on the Phoenix website about this, so definitely be careful, check out the seller before you purchase. If the price is too good to be true, now well, there's a problem. 
with that being said, let's just jump to the review, pros and cons, pros first. Excellent quality, excellent fit and finish. Very versatile, right? I love the rotary head. That is really, really cool. Just simply rotate back and forth. That's awesome. Very well thought out, very innovative. After a few years of reviewing flashlights, I got tired of the same old stuff, and that is really why I stopped reviewing flashlights. With Thru-Night, for an example, they moved to a practice of paying their reviewers to review their products, and I didn't want anything to do with that. So, with that being said, I am reviewing this product absolutely free because this channel is agenda free. I'm not trying to sell you anything at all. I'm simply providing you all with some information so you guys can make the best decision for yourself. The fit in the hand is perfect. Feels great. You know, it's not too heavy. It's not too light either. It has to be mentioned that going through the modes is very, very simple. You have one main on off switch clicky. Then you have a secondary mode selector. So simply click that to select the different modes, rotate the head to change the colors on off. Another pro is that I have not had any glitches with this flashlight. No oddities to report, nothing like that. And of course, with each product that I test out, I test them out a lot. I have personally carried this flashlight, I would say for over 50 miles of hiking, numerous, numerous months of testing. Included in the pros has to be the red light and the blue light, but that's only if you need it. Moving to the cons. Well, this is a pricey flashlight. This is definitely pricey, $120 for the flashlight. That does not get you a battery. Now, there are kits out there, so you can get a rechargeable battery if you're interested in that. As far as cons, that's pretty much it. All in all, it boils down to your needs if this is the flashlight for you. Do you need that red light? Do you need that blue light? Or do you simply need a regular white light flashlight? Only you know the answer to that question. So with that being said, I want to wish you all a good day, strength, and honor. If you have any questions, email me. Until next time, take care.